Hello everyone, it's Gwathorn from Gwathorn's Games and I'm going to be running a level 53 Lore Master. Now, I'm in Moria and I Stand haven't... And speak with me. The fate of Khazadum hangs in the balance. I have not picked up... We have seen naught of Durin's bane. Be wary if you journey into Moria. This character's... A goat yet? So for for travelling through Moria, so I thought as part of the uh, showing how a law master runs, I thought what we might do is yeah, it's, it's it's a relatively easy two shot, sometimes three. Um, take down so I thought we might just run through some of this and in the process get the uh, the item so I've got lots of I've got some area of effect I've got some normal normal single target the the actual build I'll, I'll show the build after I've played this for a little bit so that people can see it. That's a one shot, which is pretty good. So I'm I'm just a little bit over level, not a lot. Uh, I'll actually grab this quest while I'm at it because I'm in this area. So for those that don't know, this I'm I'm sitting around this campfire, which is on the way between Durin's Threshold and Dolven View. So this is where you get the uh, the goat. Essentially, these are the quests that you get the goat with. Um, and first of all, you have to do the initial side quests, and then pre precursor quests, and then you get the goat in the mount. In uh, I'm just going to let the pet take care of those. Which is one of the things you can do with the law master is you start the battle with and let the law let the goat uh, goat let the uh, bog guardian or whatever the other creature you actually summon take care of the rest of it. Oh, as I said, I've got the sticky gourd, which is a nice burn over time. So one shot, it's gone. I've got the uh, cracked earth. Which does a lot of damage. And I'm just going out and I'm just picking up. Okay, so I've got that done. Not a lot in here. We'll go and get a couple more. As I said, I've got the Sticky Gourd, which does good damage. I've got the Cracked Earth, which does good damage. They've got decent cooldowns. So... And I'll go for that spitter. And then I'll draw the other spitter. And then I'll run them together. Yeah, they're both gone. Okay, that's a damage over time done from just from the burning embers and gust of wind combination. Which is the bread and butter of this build. So how many more have I got? I've got three more glands to get. Okay, so... Oh, let's do a Cracked Earth. No, didn't need to. The Bog Guardian took care of it. Okay, I'll go back to the beginning area of this. And we'll start again. But when we've, while we're waiting, I'll show you the traceries in the legendary item that I've got. And, okay, where's this? Come, come back. Come bring the pet back to me. Okay, good. And we'll go back to this area, which is where they're going to start respawning from. There we go, there's one, just for starters. And I've got one more to go after that. Okay, so. Fairly straightforward. I, I haven't even used the lightning storm, which I've got sitting there, which is quite a lot of damage, which has got a one and a half minute cooldown. The, uh, the area of effect uh, attacks do have a fair amount of cooldown. Okay, that was one off. And that uh, didn't get a gland from that. I'm going to have to wait for the next one.
Okay. Well, oh, still not. Oh, let's let's keep going. Always the vagaries of instances. That's it. Okay. So I've got I've got my set now. Uh, so what I've got is the character itself is running with level 50 teal gear, which is fair enough. Uh, it came that's from the uh, Tailor's Guild master level um, I've also got the burning embers initial damage is extra I've got the cracked earth pushed I've got the ascendant flame so I get the extra bonuses 15% bonus on flame damage the gust of wind damage and the burning embers critical chance multiplier I could have gone to pump the sticky gourd or pump the lightning storm but because I use burning embers and gust of wind as, wind as the main uh, target, main attack. Though that's why I've pushed those two. Now the actual character itself, I'll leave that up. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just go and do this, and I'll bring up the legendary items so that they're on display while I continue on. Okay, so that's that's what I've got. But I'm going to just finish this, hand these in. The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Khazadun. These now, halls will be great once more. The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Khazadun. Now it'll tell me to go and get the queen, which I'll go and do now. And that's then I have to just ride up to Dolven View or run up to Dolven View because I can't ride yet. So, tactical damage plus 10%, fire damage plus 15%. I've got the Lightning Storm, which is this one, this really nice one down here. I've also I also pushed into a uh, chance to trigger fierce lightning, which adds fire damage. Okay, let's have a bit of a go with this. So we'll set this off. Queen will appear over here. And we'll have some fun with the Queen. Lightning Storm will do. Done in one. Let's get rid of a few of the ads. And we'll get out of there. Okay. So, also, so that lightning storm, that's why I brought that in. You saw how much damage that did. It's quite nice. Uh, and I also went for extra pulses of the burning embers, which is my main attack, and 30% chance to apply two stacks. So I'm, I'm emphasizing fire damage, and I'm emphasizing the, the uh, burning embers and the, uh, the fire damage. So I'll also hand that in, and then I will go and get the goat. Okay, so says the tame red horn goat. That's the best way of best way of getting the goat for all of Moria is to do this little quest, this this little set of quests, in just as I said, just to between Dolven View and Durin's threshold. So I'll just run up. Um, okay, so. Red line, obviously, and good damage. Now, the next steps for this character, uh, and, and something that someone people might choose to do, I chose not to drop the induction skills, induction time, so the time it takes to cast the abilities. I could have got that down to 25%, but that will be the next down by 25%, but that will be the next set of skills that I pick up for this character. Okay, so let's hand those in and we'll get the goat. And then I will leave it with you. So slide me. I am not sure the doom can be restored. The orcs have surely ruined it. Now you can see that I cannot mount the the horse, but what I have is now as a mount the prize tame red goat which i can drop down here and now i can ride again and this this is just handing in the fungus quest 
which is good. Now, while I'm here, that deep defeat defeating deep claws is the prerequisite quest for being able to do to take the reputation for purple crystal lamp fragments so that's why you would take that one okay well thank you everyone for watching i've already done the 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 prerequisite for the cream crystal lamps which was done at durin's threshold but thanks everyone for watching and uh that's an easy to play lawmaster bye all